Did you say that your children were having some health problems? Yeah, you know, I just took my son uh, a year and a half ago. He just uh, passed out at the bus stop, you know, for like 30 seconds. And he's been going to a cardiologist to a, see a cardiologist since then. And I mean, perfectly healthy boy. And now my daughter is having problems with her stomach, so we're, I'm taking her to a radiologist. She has to go to a radiologist so they don't know what, I mean, just pain. And she had been in pain for like three weeks. She kept saying, Mom, oh, and it, it was just unbearable. We've been to the emergency room twice. Wow. And so what I did Friday, this past Friday, last Friday, uh, my son, because he's going off to college, I took him to have a physical and I took him to see his cardiologist you know, before we leave. And I gave him the papers of everything that's on Treasure Island, the radiation, the asbestos, the mold, the everything. So the doctor has the whole story. It's in there, so if anything is, so they know what they could be looking for. Your son's name is? Terrell. And how old is he? Terrell is 18. And, and I have my daughter. to say that Terrell is one of the most beautiful <laughs> kids I've ever met. Thank he's so you. funny, he's so loose, he's just a great guy. And your daughter is how old? My daughter is 20 and her name is Ashley. And remember, yeah. um, I was mentioning at, at that RAB meeting that um, they, that it's, a, it's an old infrastructure and that the pipes that you guys get your water through mm -hmm. um, are old. Oh, and yeah. And that... Uh, there have been a number of gallbladder surgeries and, and people losing their gallbladders and mm -hmm. my guess was that was from heavy metal leaching off the mm -hmm. insides of your water pipes. That was from something that Catherine said that I thought that might be a cause. Uh -huh. and you, you came up to me afterwards uh -huh. and you mentioned that um, the, the, as maybe a, a possible cause for what's bothering your daughter. Right, and I thought of gallbladder because our gallstones because I had gallstone surgery before I moved to Treasure Island like when Terrell right after Terrell was born I had surgery but now Ashley she's in the same pain and that pain is worse than having a baby and Ashley is in the same pain and actually me I have three daughters and all three of them are grown and we've all had surgery so you know. she could be at risk having it in the family, but maybe something on the island triggered this. Exactly, yeah. and sometimes, well, what the doctor said was well, sometimes after you have a baby, Ashley don't have any babies. Yeah. You know, and Ashley yeah. have always been healthy, her and Terrell, perfectly healthy kids. Yeah. You know, and Ashley also, the Boys and Girls Club, that they closed down, because why? Because it was close to one of the most toxic areas <laughs> on the island. Thank and you. they left the island. Yeah. Thank you. So Ashley used to go there every single day after school. She went to Life Learning, graduated from Life Learning Academy on Treasure Island. So every day after school, she went there to help out, you know, with the youth and, you know, get on the computer every day. So who really knows? But I'm trying to find out. Yeah. And so was her doctor's. I want them to be healthy. You well, know. of course you do. You're their mom. You yeah. want them to have and a, myself. a good life. I'm scared. I am. I really am. And and mm -hmm. I just think they need to relocate everyone. And then they can get Treasure Island in order. How can you do it with people living there? You want to move them from one contaminated unit to another. That doesn't make any sense to it me. Doesn't. But how do you feel about? They set that thing up after the Navy decommissioned it. Part of the deal right. on the de decommissioning was that they were supposed to provide services for homeless people and people who were at risk of homelessness. So they get these people out there. They get sick. Mm -hmm. And then you, t you told me they moved 25 families and they think some of them were moved to homeless shelters. Yeah. So they bring them right. from homeless shelters, to poison back to them, being. and then move them to homeless shelters. Is that, you heard that? Yeah, that's what they said, yeah. 25 families? 25 families, families women and children. And my family just keeps saying, and my son, he always said, Mom, you have to get off that contaminated island. I said, 
Well, they now this is not trail. You got an older. No, son? I have an older son. Yeah. He lives um, over by Caesar Chavez. So, yeah. what is your thinking about how you will get off that island? Are, are you... they need to make provisions? Okay, so you're thinking you need to put their feet to the fire and, and make them make help you move. Relocate. It's not free. It's not free. It's not cheap. You know, and no, I did not come from a homeless shelter, and you will not move me and my family to one. You know. You came from a home. I did. That had a little, you told me this a minute ago, that had a little asbestos in it. Yeah, and how I found that out, it was a beautiful four-bedroom, three-bathroom, Italian-style house, hardwood floors. I was in love with that house, mainly the kitchen, because Italian-style kitchen, it was fabulous. And Where was the, that located? Uh, it, actually, it was on Gilman Street, right up the street from Candlestick oh, Park. Oh, you were in the Bayview. In the Bayview. And actually, I'm from Bayview, originally. That's good the to know. residential area, yeah. My grandparents had two houses right next to one another, and that's where I was raised. And was that one of the houses that you left? No. Or, or this was no, another this house? this was another house that I was renting. Yeah, and the landlord, he was so sweet, Chris, but... The heat really wasn't working, so I called. He had the heating people to come over to check the ducts, and he was downstairs. The girls' bedrooms was downstairs. Terrell and I' room was up. It was two master bedrooms upstairs. Terrell and I had it, and my two daughters lived downstairs with two two bedrooms, two bathrooms downstairs. And the man came upstairs. He said, I can't do any more work. I said, why? He said, there's asbestos right over your daughter's bedroom and I can't do any more work, I said. In other words, I can't take the asbestos out is what he was saying to you. Right, and I asked him, well, could you put that on paper? He said, I really can't, you know. I guess it's like putting his job in jeopardy, you know. What if I wanted to sue? I don't know, but he just, he said, but what I will do is I'll tell you that you need to get your landlord over here and tell him that asbestos, he, he showed me. I was like, and from then on, I had my girls sleeping upstairs. Because my son, it was like two master bedrooms upstairs, walk-in closets, and my, what, nine-year-old son had a master bedroom. So, and he also had a bunk bed full at the bottom, twin at the top. And so his sister slept on the bottom bunk because I was afraid. I didn't. No longer did my kids sleep downstairs. So and then you were I, trying to protect your kids right. from this asbestos. Is, so right. you found a place on Treasure Island. 